Today we will continue talking about seismic analysis. After studying eigen modes presented in part 1, we are now going to investigate the different internal forces produced by earthquakes in part 2. Alright, let's begin. To start, let's go to the structure browser and hide level 2 and level 3 so that we are only working with level 1. Next, show the frame of the objects by selecting the show frame icon and hide the objects by selecting the show elements icon. To adjust the directions of the internal forces calculated, change the internal forces vector points. Once you've done that, from the internal forces menu, press add custom component. Make sure that the select object option is selected and press next. Continue to the next page and press pick to select all of the columns in level one. Check Calculate Envelope and make sure that the Buy Time option is checked, then select All Frames and select Finish. Next, from the Property panel, change the Internal Forces Show Type to Normal. You also have the ability to change the Text Height and Scale if you'd like. You can then use the navigation tool to show the drawn normal force of every column. To change it to a solid shape, you can do so from the property panel. Next, open the preferences from the tools menu, then change the format to be numerical or change the decimal places and press apply. From the property panel, unselect the type of the normal force and select moment three from the drop-down list. After you've selected moment 3, run the clip to show the moment variation from every frame. Next, highlight all of the columns, go into the property panel and check the solid option to change the view of the model. As mentioned before, change the text height if needed. Then unselect the solid and the type of the moment 3, and then show the envelope shape and its scale from the property panel to show the envelope in proper scale. Then use the navigation tool to show the drawn envelope of every column. After you've done that, go to the property panel and unselect show envelope. Then select the show sections of internal forces from show section icon. Make a new chart to draw the internal force chart to any selected section in the column. With the internal force chart created, select the series and input your marker value. Then animate the chart by running the clip. Thank you. 
In order to see the data at a specific point, move the cursor on any of the markers on the series to show its data on that particular marker frame. There you have it. That's how you investigate the different internal forces produced by earthquakes. Drawing the envelope diagrams is a unique feature ELS has compared to other softwares that deal with 3D brick elements. With ELS, the user is able to simulate maximum internal forces through integration of stresses at different cross-sections. Therefore, it can be used to redesign the components to match the guidelines. This feature is very useful for structures having loads in time histories when it is unknown when the maximum internal forces occur. For more information, visit us at extremeloading.com.